Hi, I'm Elena Scambari, one of the authors of this study. I'm going to tell you about our experience with the association of negative pressure wound therapy and EPSIT. Endoscopic pyelonadal sinus treatment, EPSIT, is a new minimal invasive technique for the treatment of pyelonadal disease. The aim of our study was to optimize the postoperative wound management after EPSIT using an ultra-portable MPWT device to make it less demanding, easier to handle and ultimately improve overall patient experience. From November 2017 to November 2019, all patients with pyelonadal sinus disease who underwent EPSIT were included in the study. All patients were prospectively entered into a dedicated database and the data were analyzed retrospectively. At the end of each procedure, an MPWT dressing was applied. Healing rate, return to normal activities, post-operative complications and patient satisfaction were recorded. A total number of 13 patients underwent EPSIT. They were all male with a mean age of about 28 years. Two patients had previous surgery for PD. As you can see in the second table, 12 patients returned to their daily activities within one week after the operation. The mean follow-up was 14 months. Complete healing was achieved in 84.6% of cases. In two patients, only partial healing of the tract was observed. One of these required a further successful EPSIT and NPWT while the other one refused any other treatment because of the lack of symptoms. Regarding the level of satisfaction with the procedure, five patients were satisfied and eight were very satisfied with this treatment. In our experience, the adjunct of NPWT to EPSIT is a simple and practical option that helps to optimize the postoperative wound management because it avoids the necessity of the daily washing that is not always well tolerated by the patients and usually requires regular nursing assistance, delaying patients return to normal daily activity. So this association facilitates a quicker recovery with the potential of further improving outcome. Thank you.